the greatest woolen garment absolutely aesthetic if I may be so bold so I'm back making videos I was struck down by the bubonic plague and I have been focusing on writing my next book so uh, yeah I haven't made a video in a while but now we're back now we're back to the usual video posting frequency so I have of course posted a bit on telegram I made a podcast episode so I have been busy enough even though I haven't made a video so now I thought to elaborate a bit on as the title suggests the future of YouTube my beloved YouTube and I can actually say this I can honestly say that I do love YouTube and I'm not using that term lightly but YouTube has been a main factor in enabling me to live a very good life of course with a lot of ups and downs not only good stuff but yeah I'm very thankful at least so I hope for the best for YouTube now YouTube in my humble opinion needs to be optimized a bit to survive so it doesn't become obsolete in a in an ever degenerating world I say degenerating because I want to share a black pill with you that relates to the topic at hand it relates to the topic of YouTube the topic of video making the topic of TikTok actually now as I mentioned in a recent podcast episode I have thought about going on TikTok because after all it's my duty to try to red pill as many people as possible so I want to be on many different platforms to be able to spread good enlightenment now TikTok though so TikTok is to my great horror the place to be for the youth now the black pill at hand here is that the attention spans of the youth uh, very very limited to uh, to put it mildly so you actually have individuals who can't sit down for 10 minutes let alone 20 minutes to watch a video they need a 10 seconds clip to um, yeah to be able to hold that uh, attention for for that amount of time so therefore you have a platform such as TikTok with shorter videos um, and that's very popular so TikTok is the place to be apparently even more so than Instagram interestingly enough and of course YouTube they have seen this as well which is why they have these YouTube shorts uh, so short format uh, videos which I haven't done any of now anyway I don't have any plans on going on TikTok now but if you are watching this if you want to contribute to the metapolitical crusade you can definitely go on TikTok and try to spread some good uh, spread a good message there I suppose it's mostly degeneracy there so it can be good to balance it out a bit uh, I only have so much time I only have so much creative energy and I want to you know put that energy into YouTube videos uh, and you know give good insights to the guys who are actually willing to um, concentrate for something for 10 minutes or um, or even that so the black pill at hand is the ever decreasing attention spans of uh, of people and this is also why I recommend reading books any type of book really because it trains your attention span that you can sit down and focus and concentrate on something for um, a longer period of time so you don't need this constant stimulation in your mind via scrolling and then looking at a new video so ultimately the the format of short videos very psychologically detrimental it's not good so you shouldn't be a consumer I don't think you should be on TikTok to consume material but if any one of you wants to go on TikTok to uh, yeah create content that is positive by all means do it but I will remain on Odyssey and YouTube uh, I still love making videos by the way it stimulates my inner artist to do it so I will continue to make videos um, even though I'm shadow banned on YouTube I will still make videos because I like it and because it's a good platform to yeah, spread some good insights to my loyal supporters now of course on a personal note I would like to see YouTube go in a more 
freedom of speech friendly direction and I also do believe that it would be good for YouTube to allow interesting content to be hosted on the platform otherwise I yeah I don't think the the future of YouTube looks as bright as it uh, could otherwise but if YouTube continues to be a place of censorship we do have Odyssey I like Odyssey uh, it's just as good as YouTube being completely honest so so that is good at least but anyway those are my thoughts so I think the main the main difference is between short attention span videos aka TikTok or longer content that requires a bit of a bit longer attention span so yeah i just wanted to have that said and uh, thank you for watching thank you for your support do check out all the links in the description box below the greatest wool garment available first link in the description box below and also do make sure to get dauntless do make sure to get my beloved wife's cookbook it's definitely good stuff so i will see you in the next video xxo boom